So what we're doing today is we're going to install a brass nut on our Gibson Les Paul Studio. Here's the nut, but first we have to remove the one that's in there. So what we're going to do is first break it loose. You want to make sure that you protect your fretboard from any damage. This is very soft. It's softer than the wood. What I want to do first is lightly tap it. Oh, that came out way easier than I expected it to. Typically you have to work that a little bit, but this came out unscathed. We're good. So here is our brass one. I already know it's kind of too tall because I was real happy with the height of this. So what we're going to do is mimic the groove depth on this to this. But as you can see, the original is uh, probably about close to a sixteenth shorter than the, than the brass one. We're going to take that much material off of here. And then what we'll do is we'll work the groove depths after it's set with an actual nut file. But first things first, let's make the height of this the same. And we're safe doing that because the groove depths in the brass nut are, are not deeper than the, the ones in, in the original. So we'll be fine. So stand by. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one and make it the same height as this one. So basically I'm going to put this in a vise. I'm going to make a mark across here and then file it flat. I'm not going to leave this sanded finish on here. This is going to be highly polished when I'm all done. See you in a minute. Okay, so we've taken our depth dimension. We've locked it in on our calipers. So we've set our zero at what the other nut is. This one is about 36 thousandths too big. So that's about what we're going to take off. We're just going to bring this down to the zero point by just filing it and we should be good. Then we'll dress it up, polish it, it should look great. So we're just gonna file it until we bring it down. The reason I have it in the vise here is because this is way harder than the brass, so it's a good stopping point. It'll prevent me from going too far. So we're going to, to check our depth at this point. We've got about 17 thousandths to go. For this, I'm going to do it right here on the bench. So we're just going to bring it down. We're going to hand do it like this. And that'll keep it flatter. All right, so the middle of this thing, we're between perfect and a half a thousandth, which is going to be fine. So now what we're going to do is go for the polish. So the first thing I have here, this is 2000 grit. This is 3000 grit. So we're going to take this and we're going to just smooth out all the scratches and whatnot. So we'll do the edges as well. That's pretty smooth. Now we'll come over here. I'm flattening it so I want to kind of go in a figure eight pattern. We'll do that all over the place. All right, so that's what we have. Now we're going to go to the polish. What you want to do is you want to take a really soft cloth. This black is from me doing another one, but the cloth is definitely going to turn black just from polishing the brass. Now the polish I like to use is white diamond metal polish. It's really nice to use it on my motorcycles. It just works really well. So we're going to just put a little dab over here and we're going to work this. As you can see it turned black almost immediately. This stuff works fantastic though once you get the big scratches out. But it's pretty amazing the difference. So if we were to just... there. Now it's going to look like a piece of jewelry on our guitar. But that's it. Let's go for the install. Okay, so what we have is we've got our nut finished for the most part, but we still have to clean up these grooves a little bit. So I have these nut files, all right? So they're real cheap. You can get them on Amazon. But when we are doing this, we want to make sure that we don't go oversize on the groove. But what I want to do is just ensure that this front edge 
right here is the highest point so I want to create a relief on the back I think we're good on the heights for the most part because I matched it up with the one that was in here so it looks pretty darn close anyway I mean, height wise and width wise we know we're good in fact it's a uh, it's a slip fit in here it's tight though it's, it's snug which is good so we'll put a couple drops of super glue on there that'll hold it in place when we're ready but for now we're going to go back to uh, breaking the edges for each groove that's not anything crazy it doesn't take very long you just don't want to create a worse situation for yourself so we just keep moving down most of these look fine already the high E is the one that looks funny. Even the B looks okay. We're still going to hit it and make sure that we have clearance. And these things are so thin, you really can't push very hard, which is probably a good thing. We'll hit this one and just make sure we're good. And like I said, I think we're really good on the heights. So I left this rough on purpose so it accepts glue a little better. I think what I'm going to do is set it. And then if I have to, I will do further adjustments with it in place. But you don't want to go too crazy with the glue. Just a couple drops is good. So there's our first drop. And I'm talking, that's all you want. That's plenty of glue right there. All you want to do, this is only to hold it in place. And we want it sitting straight up against the fretboard like that. So that's good right there. So now we're going to reinstall the strings. And the weight of the strings will hold this in place. There's two reasons I put the brass nut on. One, I was having tuning stability issues due to the original nut. The second reason is, is I, I truly believe that you uh, get increased sustain uh, because of the mass of the brass nut. This is just me playing through my amps and stuff like that. Sound quality might not be great just because it's only the camera mics. Uh, this is not going through any kind of recording software or anything like that. So as you can see, it's, it's very nicely in tune. We're going to do some bends and just see how it stays in tune. <laughs> issues whatsoever I am totally happy with the way this turned out now I bought this nut on eBay I'll have a link down below to where you could buy this nut just keep in mind when you do buy a brass nut there is going to be some fitting and some fit and finish work that's required by you much like what you saw me do nothing more than that usually you know sometimes you might have to go a little deeper with the the grooves of the nut that's just to be expected this one came out really, really good. I'm super happy with it. So anyway, I'll put a link to that. Also, if you like the sound, and like I said, it, this is just open air sound, what you're hearing. These are Primal Tone pickups in here as well. I hand wired these myself, and I can make you a set if you like. So there'll be a link to that as well, where you can contact me and tell me what you're interested in and we can go from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You maybe got something out of it. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.